will protect him. Oh, but you know that God will always protect you. He said, Behold, I give my angel charge to keep you in all your ways, lest you dash your foot against the stone. Somebody open your mouth and give God a praise. His hand is so powerful. His hand was like a fire for the children of Israel, and it was also like a cloud. Good God Almighty. Hallelujah to God. How much are you know that the hand of God will empower you in such a way that your life will change. Hallelujah to God. I hear James say, keep your hands upon me. I'm getting ready to close, but I wonder if there's any man in here that want the Lord to keep his hand upon you. Keep your hand upon the Lord. That I learn to trust you. Keep your hand upon me. That I learn to be humble. Keep your hand upon me. That I learn to believe you. Lord, keep your hands upon me. Lay your hand on me, Jesus. Lay your hand on me, Jesus. Lay your hand on me, Jesus. I don't mind. Let the Lord anoint you. Let the Lord. Let the Lord turn your life around. Let the Lord. Find your man. Let everybody stand. Blessed Jesus. And just grab a hold of one person real quick. Just one person. Let me wrap this up. Just look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. God's hand is on your life. Some of you talking it like you're scared. You know you have some people in church, they release a blessing on your life and then get jealous when you look more blessed than them. There's a Lord, lift her up. And anytime she looks like she pass you. Give your hand to God Almighty. Hallelujah. There's a Lord bless her. And anytime them have more money than you. You know what I like about the story? With a widow, with a widow woman. That widow woman. She had a little pan with oil. And guess what? She went and she borrowed a whole lot of vessels. Some big vessels. But guess what she used to fill the big vessels? The liquor pan. What am I, what are you trying to say, preacher? I'm trying to say that it doesn't matter if you get bigger than me and me full of you. Amen. Okay, the last about six people just now. Hallelujah to God. Don't disrespect the look upon that for you. Hallelujah to God. Don't forget the mamas that pray you out. Don't forget those fathers that embrace you. Remember the look upon that for you. Yes. Just hold on to your neighbor. Hold on to them with both hands. Just hold on to both hands. We're going to release something in this house. Hallelujah. I have somebody to pray for that have five words. Come, you can come now. You can come now. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God. Let me tell you this. If you know Pastor Godman Queens, you can ask him. I don't talk and I don't mince when I don't try to say things to excite people. The first time I walk into Pastor Gardner's church, and I was not the preacher, but they asked me to do the altar call. When I was doing the altar call, I hear the Lord say, Son, there's somebody in the house that have five brides. And I said, the Lord says somebody had five brides. And when I say, when I say it, nobody came. And I said, I'm talking to you. You went to your doctor yesterday. And you know that the doctor told you you need to do an operation. And then I 
yes, so a lady started to cry. And she walked up to Pastor God and said, Pastor God, are you alone with him? And I said to her, I have never, that was the first time I was meeting Pastor God and I've never talked to him in my life. That was good. And I said, I've never seen him before, never talked to him. When she came up to me, she walked up. I said to her, I said, God said he's going to heal. I but you have got to have faith. I'm going to ask for two bottles of water, please. And 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 and, and, and as I as I was there and I took a bottle of water and the Lord had me to consecrate it. And I said to the lady. I said, this is not water. Amen. This is the medicine, the cure. Yes. This is the cure for yes. fibroids. Yes. And she turned it to her head. And she drank it. And she went home the night. She passed out everything just like that. Even today when I went by Pastor Gardner, he was reminding the church about it. I'm not asking anyone. I was at Calvary United in the Bronx. And when I was preaching, the Lord said that somebody has somebody home with cancer. And a lady walked up and said, yes, sir, that's my mother. And I said, I'm going to lay hand on you as a point of contact. They said the cancer was stage four. And we prayed. And we prayed. And after we prayed, the cancer, every cell associated with cancer, leave her. I'm not asking anybody about the God of heaven. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Hallelujah. Somebody worship him. Hallelujah. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. When I got married, they told my wife that. She has rheumatic heart disease. And they said, for as long as you live, you have to get an injection every month. And I married to her and I watch her in pain. I still marry her because I love her to death and I know God was going to heal. And I watch her going to the hospital, coming in, and I could hardly touch her. She's in so much pain. And one day I just got up and I said, enough. And I have learned to, many of us learn to pray for your wives. As you, got so, you got so many lovely hand on people in church and don't even pray for who's back home. The devil is alive. And I anointed her and I said, not my wife, not another one. And I said to her, I said, I'm not going to take you off it. I'm going to let the doctor take you off. Because I don't want to take her off and then, you know, somebody said, oh, it's not healing, it's just him take her off. When I prayed for her, she went to her heart specialist. And when the doctor did the an MRI or whatever it was, and, 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 and ECG, and uh, when they finished, the doctor said, I don't say nothing. You don't need no injection. Your heart is sound. When she called me, I said, Thank God, no doctor have to treat my wife again. The devil leaves us. These are two sealed bottles of water. If you notice, I sent for them. So I didn't ask anybody to go up top where I keep them. I sent for two sealed bottles of water. And they are going to crack the seals themselves. Yes, 
Glory be to God. And I need some believers in this house. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. To lift your hands to the heavens. To lift your hands to the heavens. I sense a baby barrier. Glory! Yeah. Ah, I told you, I feel, I feel a war angel coming out of your eyes. Glory be to Somebody shake your hand and say, healing Holy Ghost. Somebody shake your hand and say, healing Holy Ghost. Y'all all see signs and wonders and miracles. Come on, somebody shake your hand and say, healing. Thank you, Jesus. I see a boy, baby, trying to born and there's a Flat me out to give me this word. Anytime the Lord flat me out to give me a word, it normally gets squeezed. He normally take everything out of my hand. This is not something that I do often. It's not something that I do often. The Lord has to speak to me for me to move in this direction. You can ask any church that I've been to. Maybe they'll tell you they've never seen this. Glory be to God. Glory to God. Glory be to God. I'm going to ask both of your mamas and mothers to come one, two, one, two. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, you are the greatest physician. I pray right now, Lord God, that you transform this water into the cure for fibroids. And I call it done now. In Jesus' name. Others, I wanted to hand them and tell them that's the cure for fibroids. And let them drink it in the name of Jesus. Somebody better worship God with you. 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 Open your mouth, warriors. Open your mouth, worship us. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. There's a healing Jesus. I am Shanda Kata. There's a healing Jesus in this ocean. There's a healing Jesus in this ocean. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yes. There's a healing Jesus. Rain Jesus. Rain Jesus. Jesus, you are King of Zion, you are Judah, Lion, Riding, Prince Emmanuel, Riding. I'm coming out of here. If you notice, 
I didn't even lay. I know many are saying it's time for you to lay hand on them. You know this, I didn't lay hand on them. I asked God to turn the water into the tree. I work with Bible principle. I believe in the word of God. And in the principle of God. Amen. Just hold on to me. I rebuke that dizziness. I speak to every Lima Pushayasa in your Pareta to Baba Shayasa. I speak to every aspect of this body. This body is an anointed vessel. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. I speak total healing in Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Sometimes you're trying to worship and the devil is trying to create a hindrance. They're trying, they're trying to praise God and the devil is trying to create a hindrance. We are the migraine headache. Lay your hand on your head. You shakata yabasanda and speak to that headache, speak to that headache, speak to that headache, rebuke it, send it back to the pit of hell. The devil is a liar. Sickness is of the devil. You are healed, you are healed, you are healed by the power of God. You are healed right now. About six years ago, a doctor looked at me and said, son, you have migraine. And I look at the doctor dead in the eye, I said, doctor is not my grain, it must be your grain. Yeah. I said to the doctor, I cannot have my grain. And I went to him, and I said, God, I cannot have my grain. Six years ago, and up to this day, I've never had not even a mind of him. I'm not, uh, this is what anybody can tell you. I'll, I'll preach. I was at True Witness Convention. Amen. This week I was there Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night. And I did the altar call every single night. I sing, I shout, I jump, I preach. I... And if you wake me up 12 o'clock in the night and say, Pastor, preach. I grab the mic and I preach that there's no tomorrow. Yes, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Amen. I allow myself to be a vessel. Of honor to God. Hallelujah. And this body is consecrated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Children of God, understand that the hand of God is on your life. And if God's hand is on your life, no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. I feel somebody behind me struggling on the job. I will See somebody behind me struggling on the job. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. Yes. Ushai, God is fixing it right now. God is yes. mm, fixing it right now. And somebody clap your hands and praise God. Yes. Yes. I'm going close. I'm going close. Everybody lift your hands and just say Jesus. Jesus. Everybody lift your hands and say Jesus. Jesus. Lord, I want you. I want to pray with you. Come on. Yeah, you go. I'm finished. Y'all, excuse me. I'm finished. Amen. I'm finished. Just lift your hands. Just lift both hands in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah, to God. While you are over there, I hear the Lord says. That he's getting ready to rise into a higher dimension. Not just spiritually. 
but also in the physical realm. Glory be to God. God said he's getting ready to give you a job that you're not qualified for. Hallelujah! So he's getting ready to give you a job that you're not qualified for. Holy God. And more qualified people will go. Amen. But they won't get it over you because you're going to walk in with faith. How much of you know favor is not fear? How much of you know that favor is not fear? Favor will look at the rich and famous and pass them and look at you and give you. Hallelujah to God. Jesus, upon your word, upon your word, we believe together and we call it done. In Jesus name. Somebody clap your hands and give a long Somebody clap your hands and give a long If you believe God, He will shift the order of your life. Some of you stuck yourself in some situation that you don't even need to be in. Working working Sunday to Sunday and, 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 and you're struggling and you're working no time for church and, and you still don't have money. All they're doing is working you out. And you're sitting here with your dead self. God wants some of you to shift up. God wants some of you to shift up. I was working at a place in Jamaica and whilst, whilst I was there working, I had to work on Sunday. I was the only Christian in the entire facility of about 50 people. I was the only Christian. And I was the only one that they assigned to work every Sunday. And I talked to the supervisor. I said, can you give me somebody Sunday for church? No, you have to be here every Sunday. For absolutely no reason, this woman just believed I should work every Sunday. And I said, God! I reserve one day to worship. I get two days off for the week and it's never a Sunday. Amen. And when I finish praying, I say, God, see with me. I'm not even I'm praying, but I'm not even waiting for the answer. I write a, rec a resignation. Amen. See Amen. So I pray. And I should have really ask God what I should have do, but I'm not even doing it. Because I say, it can't please God for me to be working every Sunday. And I write a resignation and I hand it in. When I hand it in, even the director came down begging me, you don't have to go, you know. We can give you some Sundays off. And we also will raise you to your salary. <laughs> I look at the director. I say, you don't know why I'm leaving. I say, I'm leaving because I'm going to get a job that's paying me twice as much and I don't have to work no Sunday. <laughs> Pastor, I tell you, faith don't have no sense in me. I never have a clue where I was going. Amen. But I say, I'm going to get that job that paid me twice as much, and I don't have to work on Sunday. And I leave the Friday. And I got a call. I never write a, a recommendation. I got a call this Saturday. No resume, no application. Get a call this Saturday. And they say, sir, are you working? I said, no, I just walk off a job. They said, sir, do you want a job? I said, yes. They said, when you can come? I said, when do you want me to come? They said, right now. Yeah. Not Monday, right now. I put on my clothes and I went to work. Y'all yeah. don't hear me. I said, I walk off Friday, I went to the next work. Saturday. The boss never discussed salary with me and I felt bad about it. I was working, I never know how much I was going to work. When the fortnight came and I collect my day, it was exactly twice as much. Some of you sit up with your dead self talking about, you know, I got to work, I got to make the money, you better give God.
call some of your time. Y'all don't have to like me because I'm going to Jamaica in a couple days. Hallelujah to God. You better give God some quality time. If you want God to fix your business, you got to fix it. That's why I tell apostolic, stop being employee and start to be employer. Because the world don't cater for the church. So the church have to start catering for itself. Sometimes you got to make some God. God, time is up. God bless you. 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 May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord.